Alright, hello YouTube, this is uh, Piano7638 here um, with another video for you. This time I'm going to be showing you how to make um, a wireless network printer with any printer, uh, with the exception that you must have Windows 7. <coughs> so, what you're going to do is you're obviously going to have your printer, and mine is set up right there. It's a uh, HP desk. DeskJet F300 series, and but it can basically be any printer. Um, the next thing you're going to need is to have that plugged in and installed on in your uh, remote computer or whatever program, uh, whatever computer you're going to use as your remote computer that the com that the printer is attached to. Uh, so you obviously have to install that on your remote computer, and you're going to have to have all the um, computers set to network and file sharing. Um, the, by the way, the only reason you can do this with um, Windows 7 and not with Windows XP or any other operating system is because with Windows 7 you have the exception of the network and sharing center. Um, so right here, if you go to my computer and you go to network, it's going to show you all of the computers on your network. On this one it's a little fi uh, finicky so it's only going to show me two. But um, just to let you know, this is David PC, this computer right here, and that's the computer where the printer is attached to. And it's going to show me all the PCs on my network right here. Um, so this one right here uh, is David PC. It's going to show you, I know it's a little blurry, but it's going to show you David PC, which is the one right here, and it's going to show you David Lap 2, which is where we're going to be printing from today, and I'll also show you David Lap, which is another laptop I have that I'm going to show you how to print there too, just for experimental and um, tour kind of purpose. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to install the printer software on your remote computer here, and just for your knowledge, the computer has to be on in order for you to print from it. Uh, in order for it to be a print server. So this one's on. Um, that computer over there is on. Uh, and the one in my other room is on. So what I'm going to show you right now is um, how to do network printing with any printer. So like I said before last time, you're going to have the printer attached to the computer and the computer is going to be on. So right now we're going to go into the other room. And this is where my other computer is. So right now we're going to go into, uh, let's just say Microsoft Word, and we're going to open Microsoft Word. Um, this is um, Microsoft Word 2010. It really doesn't matter what software, what version of um, Microsoft Office you're using. But for experimental purposes, we're just going to put, "Hello, my name is." David. Alright, now after you finish writing your paper or whatnot, you're going to go up to File and Print. And this is basically the same thing for everyone, but for every computer, but it's going to give you a list of the printers that you can use. So um, if you're, um, there's a one thing that, an exception that might happen is that if you do not have drivers already installed on this computer per se if it's um, the printer hasn't been attached to it yet it might ask you in some cases um, that you have to have the printer driver installed to print wirelessly um, if you do that just select the um, printer series and whatnot and uh, it will automatically install the driver it takes about two seconds it's not no hassle so anyway Right now I have Smart Notebook Document Writer, which is not what we want. We want to select HP DeskJet F300 series on David PC, which is the remote computer that we're printing from. So um, we're going to select HP uh, DeskJet F300 series on David PC, and it's going to say connecting to printer. And it might take a few um, few seconds to do. Um, actually. Alright, so it'll say, when it, once it says connecting to printer, it'll say ready. 
mine just took took a little extra long because my other computer is pretty slow. So anyway, it'll say HP DeskJet F300 series. I know it's blurry again, and it'll under it it'll say ready when it's ready to print. And then you're just gonna press print, and it'll print. And just take a second here. When you select print, it'll print, and we'll just wait two more seconds. Alright, so there it is. It just went back to the main page, so it'll take about two seconds to print. And while that's printing, we're going to go back to the other room. And it will take about two seconds to print. Sorry, the computer's slow again, so it might take a few seconds. But if you have a fast processor and fast computer, then it probably won't be any problem. So anyway, it's printing now. You can hear it. take two seconds to print, obviously, because it's very small type. Anyway, so it'll say, um, there it is there, hello, my name is David. Didn't know you can't see it, it's blurry, but um, there it is right there. So it printed wirelessly. And we'll go to this printer now, uh, this computer now, and we will do it on this printer now. So we'll go to here and we'll just go to your Windows button and computer and you go to network and this one's a lot more um, you know fast so you'll see a lot more print, uh, computers on here so we'll go to um, David PC and obviously up here it'll say HP DeskJet F300 series so just to let you know that's where it is. So you'll um, We'll go to Microsoft Word again, and we'll type in, I don't know, a bunch of nothing here. We'll just type in Guru, or whatever it is. All right. And now we'll go up to the same thing on the other computer, and we'll go to Print, and we'll select HP DeskJet F300 series on David PC which is the remote computer again. So it'll say connecting the printer. And it'll take two seconds. And it'll say ready, which is a lot more clear on here. Anyway, so you'll select print up there. I don't know if you're running uh, Microsoft Office 2010, but it's pretty much the same thing on all of them. So you just select print and it'll go back to the main page and go back here and it'll show a little cursor there, like the wait cursor, and then it'll go back to its own thing. And then we'll go back here, wait two seconds, and it's printing again. So there's our first one, right here, and here's our second one here, right there. So as you can see, we just printed wirelessly from two computers using Windows 7. And um, I haven't really tried it with a Windows XP, um, Windows 7 server, but Windows XP print, printing from, printing to the server. Uh, but you might want to try that. You know, it's just a little idea that you can, you know, that I wanted to run by you. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it. And if you have any questions, just post a comment and feel free to subscribe if you want to, too. So thanks for watching this tutorial.